key factors that you think contribute to the success and the failure of artificial systems implementation. If a customer knows where he wants AI, then it starts with what is the sort of uh, data. How quickly we learn from those uh, uh, you know, flaws or mistakes and rebuild the world. Worry is more in terms of everybody's success and failure. We need to gain access to compute possible. Uh, AWS of the world have pretty much cannibalized 80% of the GPU, probably China too. Mm. Uh, you know, we do captive deployment, it does not matter, but GPU is, plays the critical so role. Like, uh, Jana and BJ, you have almost enlightened us, uh, you know, taught us a lot in the last 16 minutes. Um, I'm not sure about others, but personally, I had a lot of learning from you both. My last question to both of you is going to be the same, but I want you to present your perspectives or answers to my question. What are the key factors that you think contribute to the success and the failure of artificial systems implementation for organizations? The size of the organization can be anything and we can always talk about the context and everything. But in general, what does it take um, for an organization to succeed or what does it take for an organization to fail when it comes to AI implementation? The question remains the same for you both, uh, but I want you to get started. In that so, uh, to begin with, we have to split customers into two different buckets, uh, right? If a customer knows where he wants AI, then it starts with what is the sort of uh, data that he has and the seven layers will carry on from there on, right? That's one part. The other part is that a person who knows he needs to introduce AA, then does not understand where to start, where to go, then the consultation mode is where uh, it can even end up saying that, uh, I mean, it's a workflow problem. Why are you even looking at AA, uh, right? So we as partners, we, we tend to, you know, uh, do that uh, first uh, with that, right? So the key is to understand who the customer is, what is that uh, they actually need and how do we uh, go about uh, delivering to them or even telling them, saying that boss, you, everything looks fine in your area, why even disturb the mm. entire ecosystem? That's item number one, that's at the level one uh, for me. The level two is initially educating the customer if you do this this is the sort of change management you need to undergo don't implement something is the all key stakeholders within the organization have all in alignment uh, uh, with that that's very important for success of it because yeah. then the change has to be accepted uh, uh, by the organization it's very 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 critical uh, Particularly in AI implementation because it disturbs the right. entire thing, right? I mean, uh, the ecosystem needs to accept that, right? Correct. Yeah. So that's that's the second uh, layer I try to uh, we try to you know usually For go and uh, yeah. The third comes the place where the acceptance. Uh, there, right? In terms of how frequently they communicate with us, uh, you know, how frequently they look at the progress. Mm. Because a good AA system will have its flaws and mistakes, uh, right? How quickly we learn from those, uh, mm. uh, you know, flaws or mistakes and rebuild the model. The beauty of AA is that, right? You can always train the model, you can upgrade the model, you can fine tune the model to get the result uh, uh, that you need so that. Telling the customer that, you know, getting A into place is not 100%. Uh, Which goes back to the uh, software engineering principle of fail fast. Correct. Exactly. exactly. So, that has to be, uh, you know, uh, reinstated very, very uh, clearly. Uh, if these factors are being addressed, risk to solve typical software mm. development uh, life cycle. The, the key difference I see is... If these are being, uh, you know, communicated very clearly, informed very clearly, get the acceptance and be a partner with them. Uh, 
correct i mean finally we are trying to deliver something that will help them to succeed uh, uh, the or either delivering it to their uh, customer or improving uh, improving the productivity within the organization right so that's what we are trying to uh, do here if that acceptance clarity is uh, you know received very very well then uh, you know it is but going to be uh, and any one layer it fails you are building something for failure uh, you build a beautiful solution but uh, the change management is not been accepted then what's mm, the point of uh, uh, doing it or you don't get the proper data what's the point of doing it your model can throw 100 right. <laughs> you know accuracy to any extent so to uh, yeah that will be the criteria in which we should be operating is what i am thinking on thank you lee of course it comes from experience <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah to very you know, your views i actually don't have a lot to add i think dj kind of um, uh, added the most important things that uh, uh, the doers need to uh, make sure that they get to uh, get it right but if i have to add to add beyond what um, my worry is more in terms of everybody success and failure we need to gain access to compute possible i think it is becoming a serious trouble um we are trying to, i'll just give you an example mm. for the entirety of the last week we are you know we are begging and pleading google cloud to give us gpu machines and they have gone to a place where they are giving us by quota okay we are not able to get more than one gpu machine from gcp that's the state in which things are in right now we get to gain access so we have come to a place where we are deploying rtx cards which are meant to do gaming we are taking them up we are renting those machines and we are putting racking and stacking them up to do our bidding so it, either the world needs to find a way to shift away from gpu to cpu to do all the genai work or we need to find a way to uh, Uh, get to a place where nvidia is not the only person who is uh, mm-hmm. dealing with gpu my worry right now is in terms of everybody succeeding and failing there seems to be this problem that we have because microsofts of the world googles of the world uh, aws of the world have pretty much cannibalized 80% of the gpu probably china too mm-hmm. they have gone and then bought all the gpus that we don't have access to gpus wow. <laughs> organizations don't have access to gpus it's turning out to be a bit of a challenge as we are going through this observation yeah yeah very uh, interestingly uh, yesterday in fact we had one uh, prospect conversation he liked the solution he likes uh, everything that we saw he in fact goes far and beyond uh, saying that uh, hey it will be great if your system can do this and we are giving them solutions right yeah it could be uh, done in this person <coughs> this is how we will approach this solution and things like that. finally he closes off by saying everything is fine but i want to uh, invest on gpus i mean i i i think that's jena's point okay uh, all the seven layers is fine but finally if you don't want to maintain the infrastructure it can be both ways right either we provide it as saas or uh, okay. you know we do captive deployment it does not matter but gpu is plays the critical so role like energy, uh, right? yeah. exactly exactly yeah. when the heart is not there if it's what's not plumping the point, b- yeah. uh, blood then what's the point what of uh, going to do? yeah yeah the, so, the 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 underlying frameworks that help to do the computation by design they are they are pretty much ir- irrelevant in terms of uh, being friendly to cpu also mm. so there seems to be that there are ways that we are exploring but i don't think they are like we i can be confident enough to tell you that it's this is no more a problem for us right that is something that i want to completely on a different tangent yeah. so that's you know, my no, answer this is a very important observation thanks for highlighting that actually um again like i said great one hour 15 minutes of conversation um i thoroughly enjoyed it i learned a lot I believe the viewers and the audience out there got a lot of inputs from this. Thank you very much everyone for watching and thanks to you DJ and Jana for taking Thank the time to do this. This was very helpful. Thank you so much everyone.